Happy Sunday, everyone! This week I'm going to show you how I do my makeup for a typical Sunday fun day. Make sure you have a nice moisturizer before. Always moisturize your skin before you put on your makeup. I like to use oil of Olay. Put a little bit on your face. Give yourself a nice face massage. Rub it in, try not to get it in your eyes. <laughs> I even like to moisturize my lips. I love to use Dr. Lips Nipple Balm. Yes, I said nipple. It's a really good moisturizer for your lips and it lasts all day long. I just use a little bit and I just apply it on my lips. You don't wanna use too much of this stuff. You really don't need a lot. A little bit goes a long way. It's powder time. I like to use the brand MAC. Mine is a loose powder. And I like to put it on my skin before I apply my foundation. I don't use too much powder in the beginning. I just like to set it. Everybody is different, but that's just something that I've been doing for a while. So, foundation. I love, again, MAC. I use Studio Tech. I have two-toned skin, so for my lighter areas, I like to use the NC45. And for the darker areas that you guys will see, I use NW45. But I start with my whole face at NC45. And I don't like to use a whole lot of makeup. Um, I don't like to cake makeup on, so I just use a little bit to start as my base. And I make sure I spread it evenly, so make sure you're getting all the corners, all parts of your face. My biggest pet peeve is when people don't get every area of their face or if they leave a huge line at their jawbone. So make sure you're blending. Oh, my dogs are in here with me. So you're getting all of your face. And again, like I said, I use NC45 for my entire face. And then you'll see that I'll go in with my darker foundation. So for the darker foundation, obviously, I'm only going to use it on the darker areas of my face. So it'll be my forehead, my chin, and then my jawline. And I don't like to use too much of it, just a little bit to kind of even out. So I get it nice. And make sure when you're applying your foundations, if you do have two-toned skin like I do, make sure you're blending as you go as well. Don't be shy with putting on your foundation. Really get in there. I use a smaller brush for this one. You can use the same brush if you want, but I just find that I would have to clean the brush and you know, it's better to just use a separate brush for that. So I really get my chin area good and my forehead. I make sure I do the top of my forehead. Wow, I look like Pocahontas right now. It's time to break out in an Indian dance. <laughs> which I can say that, yes. I really am Native American, so I can say that. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to take my NC45 Studio Tech for my eyelids. I'm gonna use my smaller brush, and I'm just going to apply my foundation. Y'all like that doll eye? <laughs> I'm gonna put my foundation in my eyelids, and then after I do this is when I'll go and take my other brush and I will blend all of my foundation together. So the darker and my NC45, I'm gonna just go in with my brush and make sure everything is blended nicely. And now I'm going to apply another bit of powder for my foundation. And again, here with my powder brush, I'm gonna go through and make sure everything is blended nicely. And then we're gonna move on to blush. So I like to do a really cool thing with um, applying my blush. I smile, because um, it helps with you know making the cheekbones look nice and high. If you don't have high cheekbones, um, smile. I know it might feel ridiculous, but it will definitely do a difference when you're applying your blush. So you may look silly smiling, but it is very, very helpful when it comes to applying your blush. Moving on to eyes, we're gonna start with our eyebrows. And I like to take my favorite brush and just kind of clean up my brows a little bit. Sometimes I put a little bit of wax if it's time for me to get an eyebrow wax, but um, I'm good for now, so. 
I like to use the Kaylin brush. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's so amazing. Um, you can get it at any beauty supply store. It comes with a brush in your top. Uh, but I like to use a different tool for mine. I use my Bodellian tools. I just find it as a better brush. What I like to do is color in my brows. And then I use the top of my brush to kind of clean up, as you can see. And all you have to do is follow along the way your arch is and your brows. And then I give it a nice brush again. And I don't go too crazy when I'm just having like normal everyday makeup with my brows. Next, I go in with my concealer, which I believe is in W35. And I just do a quick cleanup from where I drew in my brows. And then I also just like to add a concealer on my lid because it gives the shadow a nice pop. I'm using Urban Outfitters eyeshadow. They have really good eyeshadow. I think I got this for like $1.99 in the clearance section. And there's no real way, I mean, I'm not a real makeup artist, so when I'm doing my eyeshadows, I just like to play with the colors and I mix them together. So as you can see, I'm using like three colors here because I think it'll look pretty. And then once you put it on your the lid of your eye, you see, ooh, that looks nice. And you just play with the colors. Again, like I said, I'm not like a real makeup artist, so I just like to experiment. For my eyeliner, I'm gonna go with Max Liquid Eyeliner for the top of my eyes. I just find liquid eyeliner to be better. And then for the bottom, I'll just use a MAC Ebony Pencil. And I just get in really nicely. I already naturally have cat eyes so I don't go crazy with the cat eye liner. And there you go. And then as you can see for my mascara I'm still using Urban Decay Perversion Mascara that I got for my birthday and I still love this mascara. And a little trick that I like to do with my mascara is I look down. And I have another fun color palette for my eyeshadow, so I'm gonna play with the pink and the purple for this one. I'm just gonna take a dab and put it on my eye. And then I'll do another dab. And I'll only just do a couple of these. Just to give a nice, pretty, like soft, pinkish, purplish pop at the top of my eye, right underneath the arch. It just looks pretty. Like I said, I just like to mix colors together. Finally, we are moving to lips. I line it with a magenta MAC pencil. The color is magenta. And I love pink and purple, so I'm gonna go with a cute little pink for today. I already have naturally big lips, so sorry I can't teach you how to make your lips look bigger, but just follow the lines on your lips and make sure you do clean up. There's nothing worse than having that little post um, lip liner look. I'm gonna go with a pink and I'm doing Lime Crime Hot Pink. I don't like to put too much on because then it looks crazy. And then I'm gonna go with lip gloss from MAC. I just put a little bit of this on on top of my lipstick. And then I like to do a little bit of a blot. Do one last cleanup, make sure everything's good. Sometimes I sweat when I'm doing my makeup, so I like to go in with either my brush or my powder brush or my foundation brush and just kind of clean everything up. Make sure you don't have lines in your cheekbones. Give yourself a little look. And I am ready to start my Sunday fun day. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And I will see you next week. Bye.